Hi, this is Lisa Tenner, your book writing coach and creator of the Bring Your Book to Life program. And today I want to answer a question that many of my students and book writing clients ask me and it goes like this, do I really need a literary agent? And they're thinking, number one, it's hard to get an agent and number two, maybe I'll save some money if I don't have an agent. So here's the reason, my answer is yes, you want a literary agent and I'm going to tell you why. So one reason is that literary agents have these wonderful relationships with publishers, a good literary agent certainly does, and they know not just the nuances of which publishers publish certain kind of books, but they meet with these people on a regular basis and they know what they're looking for. And not only that, but they know the different editors at a house, so they may decide this is really good for this particular editor, or I, I, this is a book I can take to a very senior editor, and that's going to give the book uh, probably more marketing cachet, the, the publisher will probably put more into it if there's a senior editor involved. So it's really important that you hire a literary agent for that reason. The second reason you want a literary agent is that they're going to get you a better deal. Now what does that mean, a better deal? Well, first of all, they're going to get you a better advance. And I've seen it time and time again that sometimes a, a client will even first be talking to a publisher, they'll get an offer, and then we'll look for a literary agent uh, that I, I'm able to convince them that it's in their best interest, and the literary agent gets them a higher advance. Uh, and one of the reasons that's important is not just you're getting more money up front, but getting a higher advance means that the publisher is investing more money in your book, and that means they're going to invest more also in getting the book out there. Now, you're still responsible for a lot of your marketing and promotion, but they're probably going to do more to get the book into bookstores and other kinds of promotion because they've invested in the book. And they may even do a fair amount of PR. It really depends on the book and the book deal. So another, another reason that you're going to want to get a literary agent for your book. Now, a better deal also means often that they're going to negotiate things like foreign rights and other kinds of rights uh, to your advantage. And these are things you wouldn't know how to negotiate necessarily. Uh, they're also going to be a champion for your book. So if the publisher, for instance, comes up with a cover that really doesn't work for you or comes up with a title that uh, doesn't seem so good. Sometimes it's hard for a first-time author to be able to negotiate those things. And the publisher is the one who has the right to make the final decision. But if your agent's involved, they're often able to convince the publisher that maybe this isn't the best idea and they can offer some other solutions. And because of their relationship with the publisher, with the acquisitions editor, they're going to be more likely to be able to negotiate that. Now, another, another thing is that I've had clients where, and, and this is a really interesting story because I had two clients with the same publisher and the acquisitions editor who was buying both those books left. One book had already been bought, the other one was in process of being negotiated. And the, the first client who, would, who didn't have an agent, uh, they told him, you know what, right now we're not publishing the book. You know, the acquisitions editor was gone, that person was the champion for that book. And they said, sorry, we're, we're not, we're not going to publish it right now, maybe we will in the future. The other client who had an agent was actually able to negotiate an even better deal with the vice president than they had been negotiating with the acquisitions editor. So right there you have it. An agent is this person who is really knowledgeable in the industry and a good agent will really push for you. Now, I will say you have to be careful. Not all agents are created equal. There's a great website, Predators and Editors. You can just Google that online and you'll see. Uh, you'll be able to find information on some editors who are not so good and some agents who you want to stay away from. And uh, you can also talk to people who've been with certain agents and ask them their experience. That's always a great way to get a sense of an agent. I always work with my clients and talk to them about the agents that I think would be good for their book and uh, help them pick someone who's a good match for their goals and somebody that I think highly of. If an agent is asking you for upfront fees, run away. They're not supposed to do that. They get a percentage of your royalties, a percentage of your advance, but they do not charge up front. If an agent's charging up front, a literary agent, they're not really uh, an appropriate literary agent because that's, that's not what's done in the field. 
Best of luck with your book and your book proposal. I hope you find the ideal literary agent. And let me know how I can help you. Visit my blog, lisatenner.com. It's L-I-S-A-T-E-N-E-R.com slash blog. And feel free to ask questions as comments on the blog, and I'll be happy to answer your book writing questions, your book proposal questions, your publishing questions, any of that. And also, I'd love to help you with your book proposal or to find a literary agent or even with your book writing. So feel free to contact me if you need some help. Thanks.